First, we could multiply 3 by 9, the coefficient 3 and 9, 3 times 9, then x bar 2 times y bar 2, then y, x bar 2 times x, then y times y bar 2. 3 times 9 equals 27, x times x equals x power 3, we say to multiply 2 equal basis, we should multiply. Add the power and y power 2 times y equals y power 3. So our result will be 27x power 2y power 3. Today we will study uh, multiplying a monomial by an algebraic expression. We see in the keyboard that uh, the monomial expression is an expression with first with uh, with one term expression with one term. Monomial expression is an expression with one term to multiply a monomial by an algebraic expression, multiply the monomial by each term of this algebraic expression, multiply the monomial with each term of this algebraic expression. In the example, we have 2a, 2a multiplied by a bracket with negative 3a power 2 plus 2b. 2a is a monomial expression. And negative three a power two plus two b is an expression with two terms, and we see it called a binomial expression. First, multiply the monomial with each term in the expression. So two a times negative three a power two. Two a times negative three a power two equals coefficient with coefficient. 2 times negative 3 equals negative 6. A times A bar 2 equals A bar 3. Then multiply the monomial with a second term in the expression. So 2A times 2B. 2 times 2 equals 4. And A times B equals AB. So the result will be 2a times negative 3a bar 2 equals 6a, negative 6a bar 3 plus 4ab. First equation, 5 times bracket x plus 2. First, multiply the monomial with each term of the expression. So, 5 times x equals 5x. And 5 times 2 equals 10. So the result will be 5x plus 10. Next one, 3x multiplied by 7y minus 4d. 3x times 7y equals 21xy. Then multiply 3x with negative 4 2. 3 times negative 4 equals negative 12. x times z equals x z. So the result will be negative 12 x z. Next one. Third x bar 2 multiplied by x, x x bar 2 minus 9 x 1. Third, first, and as we as we said before, first multiply each. I multiply the monomial with each term of the expression. So we should multiply third x bar 2 times 6x bar 2 and third x bar 2 times negative 9x1. So first word, third x bar 2 times 6x bar 2 equals 2x bar 4. At the power, don't forget to add the power when we multiply x bar 2 with x bar 2, add the power. Next one. Third power 2. Third x bar 2 times negative 9xy. 
third time is nine, coefficient with coefficient. Third time is nine equals three, and the x bar equals x, the x bar three, y. Next word, negative four a minus two a b minus what equals uh, what plus twelve a b power two. First, multiply that polynomial with the first term of the expression. The result will be the first term of the result of the expression. Negative four times two equals a negative eight. And a times a equals a bar two, and put b. So the result will be negative eight a bar two b. But we here, here we don't have the second term. So ask yourself, negative four a times what equals positive 12 a b bar two. We can what, we can make a division to the for the two exhibition the space in the middle we can make a division so 12 divided by negative 4 equals negative 3 we have negative but 3 and a divided by a equals 1 don't write 1 and b power 2 divided 1 equals b power 2 so the result will be 3 b power 2 Here, we should find the monomial exhibition. Let's find the monomial. What time is negative 3n over 2n equals 6n over 3n? Make a division operation. 6 divided negative 3 equals negative 2. First, make 6 divided by negative 3. So the result will be negative 2. And m power 3 divided m power 2 equals m. And n divided by n equals 1. So the result will be negative 2 m. And find the first, first term in the trinomial, in the binomial expression. We will find the... Um, 10 divided by negative 2 equal negative 5 and m power 2 divided m equals m so the result will be negative 5 m. Next one, 4y times what equals 20y bar 2 make a division operation. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. y bar 2 divided y equals y so the result will be 5y. Next one, 4y times what equals 8xy. 8 divided by 4 equals 2, coefficient with coefficient. And variable with variable, or algebra factor with algebra factor. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. And x divided by 1 equals x. And y divided by y equals 1. So the result will be 2x. Negative two a b multiply by a trinomial a power two minus three b power two plus a b power two. Trinomial is an exhibition with three terms. So multiply a trinomial with each term of the exhibition. Multiply the monomial with each term of the exhibition. First, multiply negative two a b with a power 2 multiplies the coefficient with coefficient. So negative 2 times 1 equals a negative 2. 
and a times a power 2 equals a power 3 and p equals b, b times 1 equals b put p uh, first step multiply the monomial with the second term of the expression so negative 2 times negative 3 equals positive 6 and a times 1 equals a and b times b power 2 equals b power 3 multiply the monomial with the third term of the expression so negative 2 times a equals negative 2 and a times b equals a power 2 and b times b power 2 equals b power 3 next one the bracket um, is a trinomial expression, three terms, or is a term, and we say the term that uh, has no algebraic factor is called absolute term. So here is uh, four is an absolute term. 2a minus 5p plus p minus 4 multiplied by 7ab. Multiply the monomial. The monomial here is 7ab. Multiply the monomial with each term of the expression. So 7a, 7ab times 2a equals 2, 2 times 7 equals 14, and a times a equals a power 2, and put b. Then multiply the monomial with the second term. 7 times negative 5 equals negative 35. b times b, b equals b power 2, and put a. Multiply the monomial with the last term of the expression. So 7 times negative 4 equals negative 28 and put a p. Next question, 3x power 2y multiplied by 3xy power 2 minus 4xy plus 2. Monomial with a trinomial expression. Multiply the monomial with each term of the expression. So 3x power 2y times 3xy power 2 coefficient with coefficient 3 times 3 equals 9 and x power 2 with x equals x power 3 y times y power 2 equals y power 3 and the monomial with the second term so 3 times negative 4 equals negative 12 x power 2 times x equals x power 3 and y times y equals y power 2 last term Absolute term. The last term is an absolute absolute term. So three times two equals six and what x bar two y bar two. X bar two y. So the result will be six x bar two y. Simplifying, simplify to the simplest form. Look here, we have 2a multiplied by a plus 4 plus 5 multiplied by a minus 2. We can find this expression in the simplest form by finding solution of the first term. First term is a monomial multiplied by an expression. And second term also a monomial with an expression or coefficient with expression. So 2a times a equals 2a power 2. And and 2a plus 4 equals 2 times 4 equals 8. Put a so the result will be 8a. Next question, 5 times a equals 5a, 5 times negative 2 equals negative 10. But here the exhibition, the result is not on the simplest form. We can reduce in the exhibition, reduce the exhibition, it means add the like terms, add the like terms. We have here, and we see before, the like terms is the same symbol with the same power, the same symbols with the same power. Like terms is the same symbol with the same power. Power. Here we have um, 8a and the 5a. We can add the two terms uh, because the two terms add 
that is in like terms. So 5 plus 8 equals 13 a. So both a power 2, 2 a power 2 plus 15, 13 a minus 10. Next the question, 3xy minus um, x, x plus y minus xy. Here we have negative before the bracket. Negative before the bracket. It means change the sign of each term. Change the sign of each term. In the exhibition, in the expression, the expression after the negative. Negative mean negative before the bracket. It mean change the side of each term of the expression that after the negative. So x will be negative x, y will be negative y, x y will be positive x y. So we have three x y minus x minus y plus x y. Where is the like terms here? We have like term 3xy and xy. So 3xy plus 1xy equals 4xy. And both negative x and negative y. Find the area of the figure. Here we have a figure. The side is equal. The side is equal 3x plus two and size equal y the side the side we have, have uh, here we have two, the side equal two x and the side equals y to find the area of the floor as well on the figure we can divide the figure into two shapes we can make a construction so we have two rectangles first rectangle And second rectangle. And we can the, the we can find the area of each rectangle, then add the two areas to find the total area of the figure. First area, area of rectangle equals what? Length times width. Length times with um, here we have y is uh, as a length and three x plus y as a width. We can add, the, uh, we can multiply the two, uh, the two sides. First side, first area is y times three x plus two. And the second area, the area of the second board, also the second board is a rectangle, so its area will be less time is width. It's uh, it's it's equal y time is two x. So first area equal three three x y plus two y y times three x and y times two, and the second rectangle equal y times 2x equals 2x1. Uh, here we have any like terms. Yeah, we have 3xy and 2xy at the two like terms. So the result will be 2y plus 5xy. Find the area of the white board of the following, the area of the white board only. In the drawing, we have a greater rectangle, a rectangle with length 3x and width 4x plus 1. And inside the rectangle, we have a square with side length x. And we want to find the board the white part, the area of the white part. To find the area of the white part, find the area of the greatest shape, the area of rectangle, and find the area of the smallest shape, is the square, and subtract them 
to find this area of the shaded part of the or the area of the white part. So the area of the, the rectangle will be x three x times four x plus one. Three x times four x equals twelve x plus two, and three x times one equals three x. And the area of the square equal x times x equals x power two lens times uh, side lens times itself. The area of the square equals side lens times itself, and the area of rectangle equals side lens times width lens times width. So first again, first the area of the rectangle, and find the area of the square. Then subtract the two areas to find the area of white part. Area of the rectangle equals 12x power 2 plus 3x. Area of the square equals x power 2. Subtract them. Uh, we have a uh, like term. Yeah, 12x power 2 and negative x power 2. The result will be 11x power 2 and plus 3x. Find the volume of uh, and the lateral area of the following cube. Volume of the cube equals what? Side times itself times itself. Side length times itself times itself. So we here here we have the, uh, a cube side length five x. So volume of the cube would be five x times five x times five x. 5 times 5 times 5 equals 125, and x times x times x a to the power equals x power 3. And the lateral area of the cube equals the area of one face times the four lateral area of the cube. Lateral area of the cube equals the area of one face times four, and the area of one face equals the is times itself. So we can find the lateral area of the cube as side times side times four. Side equals five x times itself five x times four. So the, the lateral area will be five times five times four equals one hundred x times x equals x power two. So the lateral area equals one hundred x power two six centimeters squared. So today we finished our lesson multiplying polynomial and with an algebraic exhibition and we say to multiply polynomial with exhibition first multiply the polynomial with each term of this exhibition to multiply polynomial with an exhibition we should multiply the polynomial with each term of the exhibition thank you for your listening and see you again thank you assalamu alaikum warahmatullah